Hi, my name is Elspeth Wilson, I'm 25 and I'm from Scotland. I was absolutely delighted to be commended on the Young Poets Network challenge on climate crisis and you thinking about climate grief and climate anxiety. Climate crisis in general is something I write a lot about in my poetry and in my non-fiction work um, and particularly its impact on individuals and marginalised individuals in particular. One of the questions that I find myself asking myself a lot is how can we be happy and how can we find moments of joy and pleasure against the backdrop of ecological disaster? And I think that this question is really important, not only for our mental health and well-being, but also in terms of being able to find hope to continue and to be able to fuel our activism and our struggle alongside the rage that we might experience. So really, this question, this poem is asking and somewhat answering this question for myself at the same time. Wildfires burn across Australia as Edward Cullen takes his top off for the 20th time. A thousand miles away, a country burns as we decide it is time for a twilight marathon. Silvery moon, cold skin and my heart as Bella moves from Phoenix, Arizona, making me see climate refugees, even in my YA. We cannot see the flames like bees, we are asleep smoked out, impervious to our home, dissolving. Jacob says to Edward, I'm hotter than you. Which is true, but not all things that are true are heard. New moon, breaking dawn, light still crawling, but as the sun cracks its yoke on our popcorn husks, the dead weight in my stomach is undying. I am cored an apple wishing its pips will still be seeded, find ground in which to live. That the venomous bite of rubbish, of sewage, of the crushed snail, of the dead wasp on the pavement is not eternal. That the sharp pains in my chest will be eclipsed by action, my own included. And that it was okay, forgive me, to watch Bella and Edward get their happy ending whilst a country burned.